Morning guys, this is Chris from Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, this morning I'm going on a little walk here. I'm going to show you another park that's uh, it's not really a park, but it's a place where you can walk. It's close to my house. Uh, probably going to walk for about an hour. But uh, this is a place that's called uh, the Silver Comet Trail. For those of you that aren't you know, familiar with Paulding County or the area, Cobb, Paulding, uh, on into Polk County, going into Alabama. There's a uh, an old railroad track that they turned into a walking trail. It's really nice. The place where I'm putting in now, I'll show to you where I'm, you know, I always want to say putting in because I'm used to fishing. So it's like where I put in my boat. But I'm not putting in a boat this morning. I'm just walking. Uh, but the place where I'm going to start is called the Rambo Trailhead. So I'll show you that. Rambo sounds like a really tough name. But this is actually a nursery. It's Rambo Nursery. It's located right here. So you can come up here and buy some plants and stuff. Now the cool thing about the part of the trail up here that I like to go to is it really is kind of in a forest. Uh, there's deer here, like you can see here. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's a, there's a lot of water. There's a lot of creeks and stuff along the way. I almost always see some kind of wildlife here. Uh, I have seen turkeys. I've seen, of course, all kind of deer, you see snakes, you see just all kind of things out here on the trail. So that's the cool thing. They have some things called side trails. Um, and people that like to ride their mountain bikes and stuff like that can get off on these side trails and walk through there. I really don't think they're intended for people to walk on. I'm sure people walk on them. But these side trails, uh, you know, are just add another aspect to it. Because like I said, bikers of all types like to use this trail. Is biker the right term? Should I be saying biker? Like somebody riding a Harley Davidson, like a biker gang kind of biker? Or is there another term? Bicyclist? Cyclist? I need to look that up. Here's my first view of wildlife. A wild turtle. He's not moving too much. I'm not going to bother him right beside the trail. Be careful buddy. If you have horses, you can ride your horses. And here's a bridge that goes across a creek here. I believe this is Pumpkin Vine Creek. And you can see it's an old railroad bridge. Pretty smart really to take advantage of structures and stuff that were already here to build this trail. Alright, there's the creek down there. Can't see it very good this time of year because all the trees and stuff are grown up. That's Pumpkin Vine Creek right down there below us. And here's the creek from this side. And like I say, you can't see it like you usually can all the trees and stuff growing up and of course there's a lot of tunnels on the trail as you go through and of course when you get in a tunnel you have graffiti graffiti you know while I'm in the tunnel and everybody can hear me good, I want to make sure I clarify my statements about the uh, cyclists and the bikers. I uh, definitely don't want the bikers mad at me. Bikers, if you're a biker out there, I did not mean any offense by calling the people that ride on the Silver Comet Trail bikers. There are probably some bikers that are cyclists. They ride on the Silver Comet Trail and then on the other hand, I don't want to offend the cyclist who may like to be called bikers or cyclists on the trail. Um, neither group do I want to offend. So please, uh, I implore you, don't, don't be upset with my misuse of the English language. Um, I'm, from now on, I'm going to refer to the people on their bikes as cyclists. And if I see Anybody out here on a motorcycle, I will call them a biker, not an outlaw biker, just a biker. 
or I don't know, maybe I'll call him an ally. You let me know what it is. Um, why am I, why am I getting sideways? You let me, <laughs> you let me know what it is that you want to be called. Just found this feather. Anybody know what kind of feather it is? It's a really cool feather. I think I'll leave it here for some kid to discover. I used to when I would come walking through here or riding my bike. If I found something like this, I'd take it home to my kids. And my kids are getting too old for these little feather presents. But you know what? I'm going to take it home anyway. Surely one of them would like a cool feather like this. People that talk while they're on bikes talk really loud in <laughs> this group right here. I could hear them a mile back. They're just like screaming at each other. And they come riding up here to where I am and one of them goes, on your left. <laughs> like I wasn't going to know that they were coming. But that was like I heard elephants. Oh, they were loud. Now, there is a slight elevation between Rotmart and Dallas that they call Braswell Mountain. It's really kind of more of just a hill. Uh, I guess it's pretty big. But I grew up on Lookout Mountain, which is much, much bigger than that. Lookout Mountain, Sand Mountain up in that area. And of course, compared to the mountains up in Gatlinburg, those aren't very big mountains. And of course, those mountains aren't very big compared to the mountains that are the Rocky Mountains, which are not very big compared to you know, the Himalayas, whatever. So, my point is, it's not really a mountain. Now I want somebody to explain to me how I could be walking uphill on the way back. But I was walking uphill all the way here. Now I'm walking uphill all the I don't think that's possible. Yeah, I want to take some time here to talk about um, something I probably need to start doing in every one of my videos um i've probably said some things today that, that offend people i'm sure i have uh, you know i know i've probably uh, offended all the bikers by comparing them to cyclists and if you're a member of like sons of anarchy or something like that please don't don't come after me uh i didn't intend to do that to insult you in any kind of way uh cyclist uh, i'm sorry that i used the wrong wrong terminology to refer to you uh I know that uh, you can, you know, some cyclists can be pretty easily offended by, you know, certain things or misunderstood and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sorry, uh, cycling community, for what I may have said there uh, that was wrong. Um, I did refer to that one group of cyclists as like a herd of elephants. So if you're somebody that really loves elephants and, and animals and stuff, I'm sorry uh, that I said that. You know, I said the stuff about the, the graffiti in the tunnels. Uh, I'm sure that probably infringes on somebody's First Amendment rights of uh, freedom of speech. So, uh, sorry that I said that. I probably shouldn't have done that either. Um, there's probably several things here that I've done. Uh, you know, I found the feather, and I was thinking about, you know, carrying the feather in the back of my hat, you know, and I thought, well, that might, that may offend somebody too. So, uh, anyway, I'm just going to try to take the time in all my videos to just go back and kind of cover my bases and, uh, and disavow uh, all those viewpoints that uh, could be offensive or that you would find offensive. And so um, I'm sorry that I did all that today. And I'm going to try to do better. I'm going to try to be more sensitive on my uh, morning walks and, um, you know, and in on my blogs and things like that. So, uh, sorry. the wild rooster of the Silver Comet Trail. <laughs> I know a lot of guys at the uh, Sheriff's Department and they ride up and down through here, they got this little uh, car that they ride around, this little bitty car that they ride in. It's pretty cool that they, they patrol this like this, but you know, he, they, he stopped me and he saw me walking and he said, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you some questions. And I said, oh, okay, I'll answer your questions. He, uh, he asked me a couple of identification questions and then he said, listen, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to give me your man card you're gonna have to turn in your man card and I said turn in my man card why would I have to turn in what, what did I do wrong I'm gonna lose my man card 
And I said, yeah, I was watching you earlier, and you were out there apologizing to all those people. And, like, you know, you don't have the guts just to say whatever anymore, you know, like you used to. So that's part of it. He said, also, I noticed, you know, you're walking. Uh, used to, you know, you would run. You would jog for miles and miles, and now you're out here walking. You don't even ride a bike anymore. You're walking. And uh, not only are you walking, but you're, you know, kind of sashaying around with that fancy feather there in your right hand, you know, and that, that's really cool, I guess, but uh, you're not going to carry a man card uh, with that feather in your right hand. So i uh, got my man card taken up today here on the Silver Comet Trail. I'm going to have to check, see how you get that back. Yeah, we spend all this time taking care of our gardens, taking care of our plants, We can't do it any prettier than God does it. Look at that. There he goes with my man card.